Jesse Walker. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Wanted to explain a little bit about what we're doing with COVID-19 going on right now and to try to be safe. Um, for the time being, temporarily, I'm going to be doing weather from my house. I'm actually in the, the workout area in my basement over here in Clay County, Indiana. I still have all the access to the computers. Uh, I'll still be posting on social media, answering emails, all of that good stuff. You just won't see me standing in front of the map for a while. But we'll still have all of the weather information for you. The weather has calmed down now, which is good news. I want to show you the wind gusts today. Last night, we were tracking severe weather moving in with some 60 and 70 mile per hour wind gusts. We had a wind gust of 60 at the TV station. Wind gusts today have been strong and that's adding a chill to the air, but of course, nothing like what we had last night. So we don't have to worry about any more severe weather. We do have the warning for most of the area for tonight into tomorrow morning as temperatures will drop down around the freezing mark it looks like across the area. Today was a lot cooler than yesterday. We only got into the mid 50s for a daytime high. 42 was our low. You can see the record high of 83 set back in the 1970s. 21 your record low. Luckily we're not going to be anywhere near that. No precipitation so far today. A few of you may pick up a few sprinkles this evening, but it should not amount to a whole lot as a little weak disturbance moves in. There's your sunrise sunset tomorrow, just over 13 hours of daylight. River Stage in Tarot, 10.4. It is rising with the rain, but it shouldn't go up too high before it starts to go back down. At the airport in Terre Haute now, 51. Humidity is low, though, so any little shower that tries to develop is going to have a hard time doing much. Temperatures are definitely a lot cooler than they were this time yesterday. There's no doubt about that, and that's going to be the trend. Even to the north of this area, you can see the colder air pushing in on those northwest winds, and that's going to be the case for the next couple days. Big storm spinning off the southwest California coast. We'll be watching that one as we head for the second half of the weekend. On the satellite, nothing significant near us, but there's a little weak disturbance moving through, and with that, some cloud cover and a few light rain showers or sprinkles. It will not amount to a whole lot. That's the good news. As you see on the Dorsa Automotive Doppler radar, just a few little sprinkles here and there. So that will end early this evening. The clouds that we have will move out of the area. Once that happens, we'll be looking at mostly clear skies later tonight. Sunshine tomorrow, still cool, but it will not be as windy. And also the temperatures tomorrow are going to be a little bit below normal, but not way below normal. So we're not talking about anything real, real cold tomorrow. But again, with the sunshine tomorrow, that will tend to help a little bit. So here's your forecast for tonight then. Freezing temperatures down near 34. I think there'll be enough of a breeze to keep us from seeing widespread frost, however, but still cold. And then for tomorrow, sunshine, not as windy, but still below normal on the temperature with a high tomorrow only getting up into the 50s, somewhere in the low to mid 50s for a daytime high for tomorrow. So we are still talking about some chilly weather. And then even as we head into the upcoming weekend, there's going to be the possibility of some scattered showers on Sunday. And with that, temperatures will be warming up to around 60 or so. It does turn cooler, though as we head into next week so the cooler weather isn't done with us just yet. So that's a wrap on your forecast. Of course, don't go away. We'll be back with more news coming up right after the break.